Grover versus his Captain Brewer reporting for duty for another episode of Road Rage. Yes, another episode of Road Rage. For those of you that aren't familiar, those are ones where I'm either on the road <laughs> driving, which is where I tend to have the least amount of patience, or I also include when I'm just on the move, like I'm doing my morning or afternoon walk, because I try to make sure I get 11,000 plus steps in a day. Right now I'm averaging about 14,000 a day. I've been a little bit busy, uh, but still, nonetheless, pretty good. So anyway, when I am driving, I use a hands-free thing. It's completely safe, and I don't have to sit there and watch my screen when I walk either, so I'm being careful. Man, it's still cold outside. Oh, it is cold, but that's okay. It didn't stop me from taking my walk today, and today I want to talk about not being woke enough. That's just the thing I want to chat about. You know, Brie Larson definitely woke. Remember, if you're not familiar with Brie Larson playing Captain Marvel for... Disney, or Marvel, you should say, I guess. <laughs> she uh, was very big into, oh, too many white males are, are you know, uh, reviewing the movie and try to pretty much ban them. So she's known for being incredibly woke. But the problem is for her, and this is a thing with this SJWism, you can never be woke enough. There's always somebody more woke that's going to want to knock you off the woke pedestal. And so anyway, that's what the big rumbling is in the public right now, is they there's a lot of rumbling that they want Marie Larson removed, not for her stiff-as-a-board acting or you know, her behind-the-scenes antics pissing other actors off, and, and as well as the public in general, which, you know, I didn't think the movie was terrible, by the way. It was just, eh, okay. But anyway, they want her replaced with a black lesbian, okay, because she wasn't woke enough. You, it makes me wonder, how long until a black lesbian isn't enough? When's the next evolution? Does it have to be a crippled black lesbian? You know, how far is this woke line going to go? <laughs> I mean, what does it take? But anyways, because she's white, it's problematic. And here's where some of the stupid thing is, because I've been watching tweets and things like that, and then I'll see all kinds of things like it. You know, it, these people don't understand the history of the character, you know, especially ones arguing. I like Monica Rambeau, by the way. Great character. She was a great Captain Marvel. I didn't like the fact that they took Carol Danvers, gave her the name Captain Marvel. I also didn't like when they changed her name to Photon either. You know, she was a Captain Marvel. It was great. But just for the people that aren't in the know, because they were all, oh, that's whitewashing with the Captain Marvel. They're whitewashing Monica. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. To be honest, the first Captain Marvel was a alien male. <laughs> okay. Then we got Miss Marvel from that, which was Carol Danvers. And she'd wear the Captain Marvel colors in respect to the legacy of Captain Marvel. And then later on, she became under a lot of situations, a lot of different things. Her character is one of the most convoluted Carol's is. Carol Danvers is just a really convoluted past, changing character names, being in a coma, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, while she was indisposed, if you will, carrying on his warbird or whatever, <laughs> there was another Captain Marvel, Monica Rambo absolutely excellent if you haven't checked it out read some of the monica rambo uh books with her in it in the avengers she was a great addition to the avengers anyway so she was that and later on she changed her name to photon it's one of the things is anybody's to blame it's marvel marvel doesn't know how to treat female characters Look at that. Look at poor Carol Danvers. How many times now they've had to change her uniform? How many times now they had to change and rework her attitude? How many times now have they had to reboot her series? How come they can't write a female series and keep it on going? Hmm. Who has the real issues here? Because they are so bent on agenda, they can't write anything that somebody actually wants. You know, that's the whole thing. This whole push is to get people, you know, they want certain people in of different color and gender affiliations and all this rather than the quality of the character or the how good the person is in the position. They're more worried about these things that don't really matter. If we truly cared and loved everybody, there wouldn't be this divide. Yet they claim they do, but they're filled with hate and want to create a divide. So anyway, now they want... <laughs> they want Carol Danvers to step aside. It's time to move in, Monica. Which Monica is a cool character and all. So I've been making a point of saying. But Monica, if I recall, has never been lesbian either. Was this a new change that I missed? If it is, let me know in the comments below. Because from all my reading of books with Monica Rambeau, I never noticed that. 
<laughs> so are they wanting to change her? Or are they going to get rid of Monica then too? Because, you know, she wasn't woke enough as well because she was straight. You know, it just, that's the craziness we live in today. I'm one of those people that more of a traditionalist. I want the character to jump off the page and into the movies. I want to see them the way they were. So yes, I want a white Peter Parker. If I want to see Miles Morales, I want him black or Hispanic or whatever. I want him to match the character. If I see the thing, I want him to be yellow, orange rock, not purple or pink. I don't think that's anything mean. It's just I want to see it jump off the page. And, and so this whole push is people are constantly woke. And they're pushing, pushing, pushing. And when they get what they want, nobody goes and sees this crap. Ghostbusters was a great example. Absolute dumpster fire. Now, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey with Harley Quinn there is pretty much Harley Quinn. Let's be honest, that's what the movie's going to be. They spotlight a movie, they threw in the Birds of Prey, and it looks like they didn't put a whole lot of thought in the Birds of Prey because those characters don't match. Heck, matter of fact, with the Birds of Prey, do not come watching into this if you're a comic book fan thinking it has anything to do to represent what you read with Chuck Dixon and Gail Simone. Okay? And yes, Gail Simone actually wrote some good Birds of Prey issues, by the way. The Chuck Dixon ones were better, but still, they weren't bad. And you will not get anything that resembles that. If anything, it's a socialist, not a socialist, I'm sorry, a feminist advertisement. <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy. And once again, I have nothing against female heroes, but that's what they'll say. They'll call us misogynist or whatever, rather than actually talking about the quality of the movie, the quality of the work, the story, the plot, the banter. Because we... Most guys like female heroes. They're just not done well. If, if, the, if the truly is where misogynists don't like female heroes, how come we like Wonder Woman so much? Why is that? Why do we like Wonder Woman when we didn't like the female Ghostbusters? Hmm. Could it have other factors? But see, it's always easier to vilify rather than take potential criticism and think about how we might be able to make something better. So it's it's just absolutely funny. So I have to couldn't help to laugh because Brie Larson's getting a little taste of her own. She was not woke enough for her woke clan. But what are your thoughts? I want to hear your thoughts on this subject or as the whole woke and as well as I want to know your thoughts about Birds of Prey. What do you think of that? Did you see it? Uh, if you do see it, uh, what did you think about it? I'm very interested to hear that. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the beeping as my phone gave me notifications. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you didn't, check your, your uh, subscriptions because, yeah, man, YouTube has really been going hard in the paint of removing people's subscriptions. And if you follow up, like, they've been really pushing these night shows clips from the like Jimmy Kimmel and crap like that and Jimmy Fallon and stuff. So you might have ended up being subscribed to one of them and taken off of mine or somebody else's. <laughs> for some reason it's the youtube thing right now man also if you don't mind hit the notifications if you want to hear more of the videos i don't do a whole lot of videos like this type these are fewer and far between mine more focus on the positive things but sometimes there's an issue that really i think has a pot uh, has a very important impact and i really want to talk about that's when i do these especially when they're more conversational so i can hear your views too all right well thanks again and until next time keep it frugal.